Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for September 15th, 2020. My goodness, middle of the month already. Yesterday, we had a really nice relief rally pushing us up in the markets, but we still are struggling with some price resistance in the chart. So what does that mean for this morning? Well, how about we settle in, buckle up, let's take a look at some technicals, and let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, everyone, we rallied. We had a really nice rally yesterday. And please keep in mind, this candle that's showing right here is the pre-market um, on my chart. If we take a look at what we have going here in this chart, we had a little bit of a push and there was a substantial push right into the close yesterday. But there was some concern as we um, pushed up here into this resistance high and we'll talk about that here in just a second but let's keep in mind that we're gapping up again this morning and we're gapping right into price resistance of the chart here on the Dow let's keep in mind that the Dow has broken the uptrend and we're going to be testing an area up here that's kind of that double whammy of resistance right here at the open so be really careful about chasing into the market first thing this morning let's wait and see if there's actually going to be some follow-through buying after the morning pop watch that pretty closely diamonds technically speaking if we take a look at our moving averages continue to hold up very very well notice that we held in here right around uh, this orange line is a 34 EMA holding in right on that area pretty nicely but we still are hanging out above that 50-day moving average so I wouldn't be at all surprised to see a possible challenge of the 50-day moving average um, in the days ahead but we'll want to watch this pretty closely as we continue to push in this rally back up remember we had a big rally like this right here with a bit of a open that gapped up the following day and that that turned into a selling move. Let's hope that we don't have a line of defense from the bears up here. Just waiting for this attack this morning to come back or waiting and uh, lying in the weeds ready to attack this morning after that morning pop. Let's watch that carefully and be careful not to chase. Let's take a look at the SPY, SPY. Very similar circumstance today, but a little bit less of a performance than the Dow. The Dow yesterday um, was probably one of the stronger performers in the market. And as you take a look here, we've got this resistance level in the chart. And yesterday we finished with a bit of a, a well, an uncertain candle in um, the SPY. Pushing up this morning, we're still pushing into this price resistance of this chart. So let's watch that closely, just in case we see those bears uh, creep back in, pushing back down. One of the things that I caution on all the time is not to chase. And I was cautioning heavily on this day, be careful not to chase. And even as we gapped up that next morning, we saw those bears coming in. Is that a possibility here? The answer to that is yes. There obviously is that possibility that the bears could come back in. So we'll want to be on our toes this morning and um, don't get caught up in the fear of missing out rushing into the market just in case those bears do creep back here on the day. Let's take a look at the cues. Here's one of my bigger concerns of yesterday. If we take a look at yesterday's candle, there was truly a lackluster performance by big tech yesterday. We saw Microsoft, Apple, Google, Facebook, Netflix, all of those struggling to hold on to bullish moves um, yesterday. So there is that little concern, that lackluster performance. And this is the place that really created the big sell-off um, in the market, uh, those techs really pulling back. So if we can't get those techs going, we'll want to watch that pretty closely. Remember, the techs dominate um, their positions in these indexes and um, or dominate the... Um, the weighting of the indexes and so 
their weight, um, if they can't move to the upside, we could struggle here a little bit. We could kind of sputter and um, maybe consolidate here for a little bit. So watch that closely as we rally up and attack those levels um, in the chart. It's going to be interesting to see um, if those techs will turn around and really be responsive today. Watch that close. Let's take a look at the technicals here on this chart. There's nothing wrong with the technicals here on this chart. We did get multiple tests of that 50-day moving average and we held in there. But let's also keep in mind that we have that potential where we break and turn back lower here as well. Remember, we've got lower highs in these charts that we want to be paying attention to. Let's take a look at IWM. Surprisingly, IWM was one of the better performers yesterday, holding up very well into the close. Notice this nice, big, tall white candle here and a very nice morning star pattern here in the chart. Now, that signals a little bit of good news here in the market. One of the things we saw yesterday is we saw a little bit of relief coming into the financial sector. Financials helped pick this index up, leaving that nice little pattern in here. But let's not get too rambunctious here, realizing that what we're doing is we're pushing right back up into a major price resistance point here in the chart. And the fact that we had this double top high, we've got some work here to recover some of the price action um, in uh, IWM. So we're not out of the woods yet. Remembering IWM has yet to make that new high for the year like the other indexes have already done. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now the VIX did pull back yesterday, but considering the fact that we at one point were up over 400 points in the market yesterday, I don't know about you guys, but wouldn't you think we would see a little bit more pullback in the fear here in the market? We ended up closing the day on the VIX, holding up above a 25 handle, in fact, well above nearly a 26 handle and holding into some price support areas here on the VIX. So we're going to want to watch that pretty closely. I would really like to see that VIX slipping back below 25, and we may get that this morning on this gap up open should it continue to hold. But we'll want to watch that pretty closely as um, we push this morning. If we happen to catch those bears, if those bears are lying in wait ready to attack, we might watch this carefully as that perks up. And one little clue to that, if we take a look at VXX, VXX is kind of the retail trader side to the VIX. If we take a look at this, what was interesting yesterday is we were actually going into the close seeing a little bit of VXX picking up a little bit of fear kind of coming back up in the market. So watch that carefully today. There's a little bit of concern in that chart. Let's take a look at T20. T2122 is the four week new high, new low ratio. And I get lots of questions about T2122. T2122 does not tell us, it, this is just an indicator. It does not tell us which way the market's going to go or anything like that. What it does is it really does a great job. You pull this back, it does a great job of showing us when the market is kind of pushed too far down where we get kind of oversold to the downside. It also shows us very, very clearly when we've pushed too far to the upside and we should be looking for a pullback in the market. What's interesting about yesterday, what we had going on here, whoops, we had um, T2122 um, respond hugely back. We went from an oversold condition here in this market and we leapt back up to um, a very, very strong move in the market, leaving some room for an upside move yet, but also raising the, the concerns. If we gap up this morning, we could be right back up here in an overbought condition. So we go from oversold to overbought just like that. And that's kind of the nature of this market and the nature of volatility when we get 
um, very emotional like this. It's that all or nothing market. And we have to be very, very careful of those all or nothing moves because we get that reverse action that can happen really quickly. So watch for the potential of those intraday reversals or that full on pullback that could occur. Little bit of a uh, little bit of concern here as we gap up pretty substantially here this morning, we could be right up here in that area where we might see those bears attack. And then if we take a look at T2101, this also is a concern for me. And let me go to a, a naked chart here without a bunch of indication or indicators on it. And if we notice this downtrend that we've been dealing with here in T2101, um, this is the absolute market breadth index. And it's interesting to me that we rallied and broke this downtrend on um, selling. The selling actually brought in market breadth. And as we had a big strong buying wave yesterday, notice that the market breadth pulled back substantially. So let's keep a close eye on that. If we get another rally and no participation in market breadth, if this continues to drop down through here, that would also be a bit of a concern um, or maybe a flashing warning light to be careful not to chase into this pop-up this morning. Watch that careful. Let's take a look at our economic calendar today. And let's notice that we do have quite a little bit on the economic calendar to be paying attention to. I don't know if they're gonna be really market movers, but really the first thing to pay attention to right off here is that the FOMC meeting begins today. And that means tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern, we're gonna have the FOMC OMC announcement and uh, Jerome Powell's press conference at 2.30. So just prepare for that. And remember, it's not atypical for the market to just kind of stall and get really, really choppy as we wait for their decision. Not that we're really going to learn anything more uh, from the FOMC. At least I wouldn't be expecting that we're going to learn a whole lot more tomorrow. But um, the market kind of typically just kind of holds its breath as it waits for that decision. Um, remember, we've got Empire State Manufacturing here at 8.30. We have import-export prices. If they come in anywhere close to where the consensus is, should be okay for the day. And also, we have the industrial production to pay attention to. Keep in mind, guys, that um, we had a, a report last night, EIA, EIA is downgrading the performance of uh, or demand of uh, petroleum heading into um, the end of the year, into 2020, um, simply because they see coronavirus rising around the world. Um, yesterday, the World Health Organization reported it a record daily increase um, in coronavirus cases around the world. And so they're seeing demand destruction possibly coming in. That could have a negative effect on the market today if oil prices really start to sink. So watch that pretty carefully as we approach um, today. Could be some back and forth and some uncertainty with that coronavirus um, kind of re-emerging into the, the mainstream reports here for the market, adding just that concern um, out there, what comes next. Next. Let's take a look at some stocks that could, whoops, I guess we better take a look at earnings reports. Earnings this morning, we have about 70, 17 companies reporting earnings, but there's not very many of those that would be particularly notable. However, we do have some that we want to pay attention to. Um, Adobe will be reporting today. Adobe will be the biggest tech report. And you can see we've got a nice, strong upside move that's been going on in, in Adobe, but it did break that uptrend and as we rally back up in toward um, um, that earnings report we're going to want want to watch that pretty carefully to see how adobe reports um, we also have fedex reporting today fedex has been tremendously strong as people become more and more dependent on buying online um, in you know the world of COVID, um, FedEx has just had a tremendous rally. Really, honestly, has almost been saved by coronavirus. So 
keep an eye on this. It's going to report today. We'll want to see how that performs. And last but not least, uh, CBRL, uh, Cracker Barrel, um, will be reporting today. It's got a nice little pattern here where we broke uh, above some resistance here in the chart and have been consolidating that move. Take a look at this trend. This easily could respond um, either direction off of that earnings report. If they were perform pretty well, could be good. It's hard to know um, what a sit down restaurant, how well it's going to actually do in Corona land, but we'll wanna watch that carefully as it reports today. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post a video. You know, these daily morning market prep videos are meant not to provide any hype. There's plenty of hype out there um, in the market. Just to, just to settle down and take a real close look at the technicals and decide how we want to approach the market for the day. And if you find these videos to be helpful, if you could please do me a favor and click that thumbs up button and also leave a brief comment. Helps us continue to grow. And also please feel free to share these videos anywhere on social media to help us continue to grow. And I want to say thank you to everyone who does do that. It means the world to me and I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at some stocks that are setting up and remember that every time I post one of these stocks that it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. It's just part of the education that I provide. We look at the patterns, the setups, and if you find that helpful, put some of these stocks on a list, do your own due, due, due diligence and decide whether or not they are right for you. One that I noticed yesterday that's looking pretty good, NIO. Now this has been a high flyer. This is kind of the, uh, the the new Tesla, I guess, um, in the electric car manufacturing world. And if I put my drawings on the chart, you can see we've got a nice little upside trend. And this has been consolidating uh, kind of over here toward this trend. We, we've got some resistance in the chart. I've placed an alert up here and it's trying to break through. NIO is one of those that can move pretty quickly. You'll want to watch that closely. Um, I'm actually not in that trade, but watching it pretty carefully to see if it can continue to extend itself up. Watch that um, NIO moving up. Let's take a look at CCL. CCL is another one that I placed an alert on yesterday. I really like this pattern, even though I'm not much of a believer in um, cruise lines right now, particularly when we start seeing headlines that coronavirus cases are beginning to move back higher. But we've got a nice little pattern here. As you can see, we broke through resistance in the chart, moving up, consolidating across over here, maybe back to trend. We're holding that support. Let's watch that carefully to see if we can get some inspiration here, pushing that higher to the upside. Um, other places is you're, that you're going to want to look, and it's really kind of surprising to me um, as we see coronavirus um, news really popping back up and that's seeing um, inspiration coming into these airlines let's watch that close they're rallying back breaking through some resistance levels showing some decent price patterns luv is definitely set up for a potential upside move if we can pop through that resistance so watch that carefully it's looking pretty good overall um, and some and if you look at other airlines they're out there looking pretty good i think we should take a look at um, GLD. GLD starting to perk up here just a little bit. It struggled here after this big buying wave in here. Lots of consolidation, lots of back and forth here in the chart. But GLD may be close to coming back around and resuming that uptrend. Let's watch that pretty carefully. And I'm also going to put silver on that list as a possibility. It's holding up quite well. Um, let's take a look at FCX. FCX is a copper trade that I hold, and I've been holding this for some time now. In fact, I've got about a 70% return on FCX at the close yesterday. Um, 
Copper has a pretty good story right now with building being so strong, um, residential home construction, things like that being so strong. Copper is definitely an industrial metal that is going to be in demand. That continues to look very good. Now, I would not chase this move up. I would wait for the next entry into the trade, but copper looking pretty good and we're approaching some resistance here in this chart. So let's watch that closely. I don't know how we're going, going to deal with that resistance here but let's watch it carefully another chart that you might want to keep an eye on and this is a stock that I own as well um, I'm holding coca-cola and as you can see coke being a consumer defensive company and a nice little divvy payer it's holding up quite well here and as you can see running a nice little consolidation after breaking through some resistance in the chart so keep a close eye on that coke may find that inspiration here soon um, after pushing up consolidating that breakout may soon find that upside move to move into the next level so watch coke pretty closely so there's a few stocks for you to pay attention to um, i'm sorry i'm running out of time here this morning i want to wish everyone a great day and also i want to make a quick note and apologize that there are so many ads coming popping up on my videos i'm looking for any settings and anything i can do to reduce those um, ads uh, just know that ads are kind of out of my control I can't I can't decide who advertises on my videos or anything like that so it's just one of those things I guess it's one of those if you start uh, getting quite a few views and popular which by the way guys I wanted to say thank you to everyone um, the right way options channel has now gone over 1 million video views so thank you very much you guys are awesome um so i will see if there's anything i can do or do to reduce the number of those ads but i want everyone to to know i truly truly appreciate you watching these videos and thank you so much everyone have a fantastic day i wish you great success and we'll see you right back here bright and early wednesday morning take care everyone